Today I want to split text based on its length, number of characters. And I know that the field for first and last name has 30 characters. Date has 8 characters and cause so number is the rest and can have different length. How can we split this text and also remove from it those, let's say, delimiters, unwanted signs? We can use text to column command. So we can just select this column, go to data tab and text to column command. In the first step, we are choosing fixed width. So the length of the text, number of characters. We can go next and we have our first line, first comb break and we need to add more. We want to add uh, column break here, uh, here and also here. And we can see that the last column has different number of signs in different rows. And when you click in the wrong place, you can double click column break to delete this, or you can drag it to the side to put it in the proper place. Okay, this we don't want, so double click. And now we can go next. And here we can see we have five columns, but we need only three. So some of them we won't be importing, uh, we will be skipping them. So, okay, so the first column, last name and first name. And here we are choosing simple formatting. We want here general, not text, general. And after we have our result, I will say why exactly we choose general here. Then we have just semicolon, we don't need it. So we choose do not import, come skip it. Then we have date. So should choose date and we should choose also year, day, month. In this order is date here. Okay, so the next column we do not import, we will skip it. And the last one we also choose general. And we have to change destination to B2 cell and now we can press finish. And Excel still remembers that I tested this, so thinks there is something, but there isn't, but doesn't matter, just press OK and Excel will replace this date. And now I can see that in last name and first name column, we have here many spaces in our original text, our raw data, but in B column, we don't have any spaces at the end. So this general formatting remove unnecessary spaces for us. And I can see I have date properly formatted thanks to this simple format from text to column command. And the last option was with costs, so currency. And in most situation, Excel recognize those numbers as currency. Only here we can see that it isn't recognized as currency. So we have to remember, test which characters, which uh, currency formatting will be recognized by Excel. But overall, it is very good solution in this situation.